here I have an HP tablet PC, it's a TX1000, and the problem with it is that there's no video. As you can see when I turn it on, all the lights come on, uh, but it doesn't boot up. So we're going to do a teardown of this laptop, see if we can figure out what's wrong inside. So here I've got the laptop flipped over, first thing we're going to do is remove the battery, and then there's two screws here that you undo to remove the hard drive cover. Two more screws for the memory, and one screw here for the Wi-Fi cover. Next there's this little tab here, push out, remove the DVD drive, pull up the hard drive. Two more screws to remove the Wi-Fi card, pull that out. And then undo these tabs for the memory, pull the memory out. Now that everything's stripped off of the back, we can begin removing these screws here that hold the bottom case on, around the corners, here, 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 so across the side here. Here, you can remove this piece of plastic, and then turn the screen sideways, and remove this strip of trim right here. Remove the keyboard. And then disconnect this connector here. A couple more screws to remove across the top here. And then we can pop, pop off the bottom piece. And disconnect the touchpad. Two more screws and one connector for the screen here. Two more connectors here. And then we can slowly pry away the motherboard on the side. So here I've got the motherboard, I'm going to remove the heat sink from the CPU and GPU. There's four screws and then an extra screw over here. One of the design flaws of the TX1000 laptop was that the graphics chip would overheat and that's due to a crappy heat sink design. It's got this sticky stuff on it that doesn't do a very good job at heat transfer so we're going to remove that and clean that up. Sometimes the overheating on the graphics chip could be so severe that it desoldered itself on the motherboard. So what I'm going to do is flip this over and heat up this area and see if we can press it back into place. This is where the GPU is located on the back of the motherboard. When I'm heating up this area I'm going to need to protect it. Uh, I'm going to use this piece of cardboard with a hole in it, line it with some aluminum foil and then put a heat gun over it. I've got my aluminum foil situated over the GPU area. I'm going to use my heat gun and heat it up for a few minutes. still hot, I'm going to flip it over and press it in with a towel. So now that everything's all cooled off, I've cleaned up the chips and the heatsink. I'm going to be using a penny as a spacer between the video chip and the heatsink, and also I'm going to put in some thermal compound between the two. Alright, so I've got the penny installed on the video card here. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten down these five screws that hold the heatsink on. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the motherboard. Alright, this is my first try. Nothing. Okay, so the GPU fix didn't work, so I'm going to try to use the hairdryer directly on the chipset. It cut off itself. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start closing up the panels on this laptop. And plug in the touchpad. A couple of more screws over here and two for the screen. Put in the keyboard here. Connect the connector at the back. This stupid piece here. In here. On the back here I believe the two long screws are for the keyboard that goes here and here. I'm going to go ahead and replace all of these screws around the border here. We've got all the screws in. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the Wi-Fi card. And also the memory. I'm going to slide in the optical drive. And put in the hard drive. And then reinstall these covers. 
course after any teardown project like this you're sure to have a couple of screws left. So I've got everything all back together. Um, I'm going to give it one last try. Plug it in and turn it on. As you can see all the lights come on but we still have no video on the screen. I guess the over oh shoot we have video on the screen. What the f Really? I wasn't really expecting that. 